Okay, so here are the items that are going into my carry-on bag. So my carry-on is not really the prettiest bag out there, but it's my professional camera equipment bag because I'm taking my camera equipment with me. I'm using this as a carry-on because otherwise it's just too much to carry. Okay, so in this backpack will be going this portable change station. So it's got my son's it's a change pad and then it's got like diapers, a couple of diapers in there and baby wipes. Um, he's a little older and he uses pull-ups as well so I don't have to take too much. Um, but I do need something in case I need to change him at the airport or on the plane. This is another little bag that I'm taking. Um, so this, this one has, okay so I I know I had the Advil with the suitcase items, but it's actually going into my carry-on. Um, I have some some liquid stuff that's in a Ziploc bag, so if you've ever traveled by air or if this is your first time, just be aware, anything under 50 mil, 50 mil or less is allowed, and it must be sealed in Ziploc bags. So I have some hand sanitizer, a little roll-on perfume, some lotion and I have some band-aids in there as well and I have some floss in there <laughs> but yeah so that's going in there um tissue packs you know some gum and I actually like to carry our toothbrushes I like to carry our toothbrushes in our carry-on because I've had the unfortunate incident of having my bags come late. Uh, in fact, when I went to Vegas in 2007, my luggage didn't show up till the next morning, so I was stuck without any change of clothing or toothbrushes <laughs> or anything. So I learned my lesson, and so now I always carry our toothbrushes on our carry-on, and I have each one labeled. I don't take toothpaste. You can take toothpaste, but my bag got pretty full, so I just kind of left the toothpaste out. It's not a big deal. And I always have a nail filer on me because my kids' nails just wind up randomly sharp. And I don't see it coming, so I always have a nail file on me so I can file it down really quickly. So that's all going in this bag. And then next I have some snacks. Uh, just to have um, those little fruit gummies, um, granola bars, and some fruit roll-ups. Yeah, they're not the healthiest items, but you know what? They're the easiest items to carry on board. Uh, we are going to make a few different sandwiches and take them all with us as well um, because kids just, they get hungry, and so I just want to be prepared for that. So this is my son's little bib print. It's like a bib, but it's long. So it's like an apron, and it's got its own little carrying case, so love that. And his sippy cup. And then over here... This is my little travel pouch. So if you don't have one of these and you travel often, this is a really good investment. It's not very expensive and it keeps everything organized. So I would definitely pick one of these up. So here you have your passports and here I have my flight information, um, our tickets and, and those things. Um, our hotel confirmation and over here now this is very important if you are ever traveling as a single parent it's very important that you have a letter from your spouse giving you permission to take the kids out of the country so this is very very important um, if you have ever traveled with your kids alone you'll know that oftentimes they will ask you if you have this letter of permission so make sure you have that make sure it's dated and signed really really important and then it's got a pen holder as well so this is really good especially when you need to fill out customs cards and things like that this and then when you're at the gate you know you can keep your boarding passes and passports right in there so you don't even have to unzip it so this is really really good really really cool get something like this it <laughs> makes travel a lot easier especially if you have more than one person traveling with you then of course I got my wallet with my IDs credit um, here's my notebook I just got a new one, so uh, this notebook, I like to make notes, and I just like to write my thoughts in there, so that's that. 
got my sunglasses, my glasses. Um, I need to find the cases for those. I don't know where they are at the moment. And over here, you might have seen these in my daughter's packing video the other day, but I'm not sure if you knew what they were. They're 50 piece puzzles I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I didn't let her open them. If you can see, they're still sealed. <laughs> I've had them for about a month, but I didn't let her open them because I wanted... Uh, what she does is she ends up memorizing the pieces so then it's not really difficult anymore so I didn't let her open them so hopefully both of these puzzles plus all those activities can keep her busy on the plane because it is a five-hour flight and she's a very restless child like most children I guess um, these are her headphones for her iPad the iPad is on the charger somewhere so um, I don't have that here but those are her headphones for the iPad and then again her her activity books Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those videos uh, and I hope you were able to take a little something from them. If you have any tips you'd like to share with me, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me, follow me on Instagram as I will be vlogging our trip as well as doing some live updates. It'll be almost like you're on vacation with me. Yay! Um, so stay tuned for some more Vegas fun and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.